Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a border checkpoint with a sovereign citizen who refuses to identify himself to the Border Patrol agents and refuses to answer questions regarding his uh, American status. Well, gee, if you refuse to answer questions, then how the hell are they supposed to identify you to begin with, you moron? So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, How you doing? American citizens. What reason do you have to believe I'm not? Sorry. Give me a minute, sir. Yeah, are you recording, sir? Yeah, don't worry, I recording. Yeah. 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 Why does that frighten you? I'm sorry? Why does that frighten you? Okay. United States citizen, sir? I, I don't wish to answer any questions. You don't wish to answer any questions? No, sir. Well, gee, let me think about this for a second, dude. I mean, uh... If they don't know you're an American citizen, they have to ask you if you're an American citizen. And if you refuse to answer that question, then how are they able to identify that you are an American citizen to begin with without looking at anything else other than your paperwork that will let you know that you're an American citizen or uh, any other identifiable aspects of you? It's, it's just a circular argument, dude. You're not that bright, are you? Sir, you answer it, you be on your way. I just need I just need to be satisfied that you are United States citizens and you'll be free to go. We're not here to harm anybody. Oh, that's We'd fine. just like to be on our way. Now at this point, it becomes a simple yes or no answer. I mean, are you capable of doing that at least? Probably not because you're a total tool. It's a simple question. Are you all United States citizens? Do you have a reason to believe I'm not? Are you? Do you have a reason to believe I'm not? I'm just asking a question. Are you it has, United it States ends States my answer. Do you have a reason to believe I'm not a citizen? I have to question everybody. I understand. I understand. And right. it's, it is, it's their right to answer questions or not. Participate in your investigation. Sir, everybody's, everybody answers questions here at the check. You know, it's a 100% inspection. Right now you're being seized until you satisfy... I understand. ...my immigration question that you are here. Uh, if you're United States citizens, you can be free to go. I've answered your question. I don't wish to participate in your investigation. It's not if you participate or not. Are you a United States citizen, yes or no? What reason do you have to believe I'm not? That's the way that, you know, you guys are good about quoting the law, but that's what the law says. You have to believe I'm not a citizen in order to question. Now look here, you incompetent, soft tart moron. That is a border crossing. Everybody gets asked that question who crosses that border. It's a simple yes or no question. And yet you are turning it into something that it should not be. It is binary. Yes, no, on, off. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated. But you consuming all those lead paint chips over the years has uh, melted your brain to the point where even answering a simple question with a yes or no response is pretty much complicated to you. Sir, everybody, okay, this is the United States Border Patrol checkpoint. I'm attempting to conduct an immigration inspection under Section 287 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. The U.S. Supreme Court rule in United States versus Martinez Fuerte, 1976, that a U.S. Border Patrol has the authority to set up permanent or fixed checkpoints on public highways leading to or away from the Mexican border, and that these are checkpoints are not a violation of the Fourth Amendment. You are being ordered to move your vehicle to secondary, please. Okay. So where do you want me to pull? Right over here in the second area. Where that guy in the green is. Yes. Okay. They're waiting for you right over there. All right. Thank you. No problem. Howdy. We'll have you pull up because the vehicle will hit you from behind. Okay. Right there? Yeah, that's fine. Could you shut off the vehicle and step out? You can bring all your personal belongings with you. Okay. Wallet, cell phone. 
Yes. You want her out as well? I'm sorry? You want her out as well? Yes, please. Okay. Yep. Alright. Uh, let me shut it off. I just want to conduct my immigration inspection. Oh, you guys can be on your way. Okay. Are you a United States citizen? Okay, so you're, you're quoting Fuente. Fuente says, if you have a reason to believe I'm not a U.S. citizen, you can stop me and question me and detain me. What reason do you be have, believe to have that I'm not a U.S. citizen? Sir, this is a United States Border Patrol checkpoint. Everybody okay, gets we're, we're gonna go around. We're going to go around and around here. You know, you're, no, no, you're going to go around and around. You, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want you to waste my time. We would have been out of this situation a long time ago if you had answered the question, yes, I am a U.S. citizen. But no, you had to go the sovereign citizen route and make it extremely complicated and uh, act like your Fourth Amendment rights are being violated for simply asking a question. I mean... Just, I could only imagine somebody like you in a university uh, taking a test. Oh, I'm not going to answer any of these questions because all these questions violate my Fourth Amendment rights to, to be silent or the Fifth Amendment or anything like that. Oh, what's that, Professor Smith? The uh, Fifth Amendment is the right to be silent? Uh, uh, no, Professor, you're wrong. Exactly. I just want to get you on the road. Okay, okay. so just so we're clear here, okay, I do not have a weapon on me. Okay. All right, there is a, a firearm secured under the seat. Perfect. All right, so I have no other weapons on me at all. Thank not here to harm anybody, don't mean anything. Okay. You know, I, I just want my rights respected. I'd like to be on my way. Do you have any identification, anything that I can ID you? Well, I need, I need to be satisfied with my immigration inspection. I need to be sure that you're a United States citizen and you're okay. You can be free to go. What reason do you have to believe I'm not a citizen? Sir, it's 100% inspection. Okay. Everybody here. You, you've inspected, you've spoken to me. I don't speak with, a, with an accent. I'm obviously... That just shows your own flat-out ignorance right there, dude. Everybody speaks with some kind of accent out here or anywhere in this country. Go to Louisiana and see what kind of accent they have. Go to New York and see what kind of accent they have. Go to New Mexico and see what kind of accents they have out there. So, dude, just shut your damn mouth because you are making yourself look like a complete dipshit moron at this point. Maybe, but I don't, I don't get where you get. The accent doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay. okay. All right. I still need to be satisfied that you're. Okay, where where do you want us to stay? Wherever you want us to stay, stay right here. Stay right here. Okay. Okay. Are you United States citizen, sir? I don't wish to participate in your investigation. You don't wish to answer my questions. Yes. Sir. Okay. Stay right there. Okay. The Hero Three. Do they make y'all buy those yourselves? They provide them for you. That's good. I got the Hero Six. The the the. Video quality from the 3 to the 6 is amazing. Really? Yeah, it, it's awesome. It shoots in 4K. It's awesome. But I'm glad you guys got cameras. They don't give you all body cameras? Oh, smooth move, you moron. The uh, plate won't come back to you at all. Oh, gee. Just another reason for the Border Patrol agents to suspect you of something nefarious. I mean, come on, dude. Get real. It's all about my rights, okay? You're government agents. You're in the course of your official duties, okay? And, you know, people have a right to invoke their right to remain silent and not answer questions. And, and that's all I'm doing. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's been ruled by the Supreme Court. Sure, that you can be here and all of that. And absolutely. We have to be satisfied. A no, absolutely. It, it, it says you can be here. I'm not disputing that. I, I think that you, I know you guys catch a lot of drugs and, and stuff like contraband coming through here. I don't have anything like that with me. Okay. Uh, probably if I did, I'd have said yes, just so I could get my ass down the road and get away from you guys. But I don't. I'm not doing anything illegal. And I, 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 I don't have a problem with you being here, but I do have a problem with when you guys react to somebody asserting their rights. By, by pulling them over here. I mean, it should just be if somebody doesn't want to answer the question because anybody can lie and say yes. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, no, I, yeah. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so, so what, why bother to go through all this when you could just say, sir, thank you, we respect your rights, have a nice day. 
Yeah, but we have some certain suspicion that you're not a U.S. citizen, we send you a secretary. Sure. Anyways. Okay, so what suspicion do you have that I am not a U.S. citizen? answering our questions. Okay, There's so... There's a lot of people that have been through here yeah, saying the same, the same thing. No, I'm not going to answer. And they're illegal. Okay, well... That, that's why. That I, is, I understand. That, that's why we ask you that. Oh boy, that uh, Border Patrol agent uh, just pretty much shut down your argument right there, considering that there are a lot of people who do the exact same thing that you're doing that are illegal immigrants. So there you go, you dipshit moron. Your argument is kind of moot by this point. Kind of destroyed, actually. Well, Perfect English. Yeah. I, you know, you're, you're just doing your never, job. Do, do what you got to do. I'm not. I'm not going to interfere. I'm not going to resist. You know, whatever you got to do, just do it. But you know, I just don't wish to participate. You know, in an official investigation. That's, that's, my, that's my right, and that, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I think we, we can all let you go until you answer our questions. Well, actually, what the Supreme Court says was you can detain me briefly. Uh, yeah, but, which, which I think is going to be satisfied. 30 or 40 minutes, and then you're going to turn me satisfied. loose. That's yeah, called catch and release. I, I, I know what you guys do. It, this isn't my first checkpoint that I've stopped at. No, you know, so I, I know what you're going to do, and, and it's fine. I, you know, asserting your rights. If this is what we have to go through to assert our rights, then, then that's just how it is. You know, but I, I don't think it should be this complicated. I really don't. And and. And I will say that I'm glad you guys are getting a little better. You're not yanking people out of the car and throwing them in handcuffs and roughing them up like they, they you, you know, just five years ago we were getting that kind of treatment out here. But I'm glad that we're not, we're not doing that oh, anymore. Never since the first second we have to. Well, I'm saying getting out of the car. I'm glad that's okay. But I'm just saying is, is just five years ago people were getting the windows broken in their cars, getting dragged out of their cars and stuff. And we're not seeing that kind of behavior from the border patrol so much anymore. And I think it's a good thing. You know, you guys need some good PR. You really do, because, you know, I, I know everything out here hates you guys. Everything from the rattlesnakes to the, the coyotes. You know, I know that. All right? I, I can say I'm not I'm not objectionable to what you do. I'm objectionable to how you're doing it. And that's what I'm doing, standing here right now, invoking my rights, you know, is, is to, to protest that. You know, and I hope that y'all respect that, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm not calling you names. I'm not yelling and screaming. And, I, I'm not going to do that. Um, you, you know, you're giving me respect, I'll give you respect back. But, uh, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. I just want to expedite the process. I've already identified your traveling passport if you're a United States citizen. Are you, are you a United States citizen? I don't wish to answer any questions. And this whole long-winded uh, diatribe monologue that you just went through could have been avoided, too, had you just made one simple choice and said, yes, that I am a U.S. citizen, and you would have been on your way. But you had to complicate the whole thing, and now you're still complicating this whole thing by not answering the question. That kind of thing, in this case, could get you arrested. It's going to take a little bit of time. And it's ridiculously hot out here for you guys. They need to put like some misters up here for something or something. We're in the brush. It, it, it's, it's, it's bad out here. We're not, obviously we're not from the area. And this heat is just killing us. I don't know how you guys do it, especially when you wear the tack gear and stuff. Many, many minutes later. Well, unfortunately, I cannot identify you, so you're not. A, I mean, I, unless you're. Try, you can tell me right now that you're a United States citizen. If, I'm not, if not, I'm going to have to take you inside and roll you and see who you are. Let me give her my camera. Huh? Let me give her the camera. All right. They're taking me inside because they can't identify. You spent this whole time trying to fig say that you didn't want to be part of their investigation, but yet you refused to answer one simple question, saying, yes, I am an American citizen. You would have avoided a whole investigation had you said yes. 
but now you are going to be part of an investigation to find out who you are. And as far as the rest of this video goes, I have no idea what the outcome of it was, whether or not they uh, found out who he was or not. But the dude just had to make life hard for himself by not answering a simple binary yes or no question. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.